that's it. Clutch is done. It's a right. dead car. I've never had one clutch go on a trip, let alone two. Uh, it's probably as bad as I've seen it, to be honest. Oh, this is so scary. This is scary. We are in the middle of the high country with a special mission. That's it. We've got a couple of days to get to an iconic pub in the high country. But we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. Well, here we are. Something's not right in there, eh? I'm running out of brakes pretty quick, actually. I've never had this many dramas on the trip. <laughs> oh, my head! The ruts are massive. And we had to do something we've never had to do on full drive 24-7 before. Yeah, we've got a uh, pretty big problem. Can we, can, we have, can we have a chat about this? We have a chat about this, dude. Oh. This is a lot serious than the Zook. Uh, it's probably as bad as I've seen it, to be honest. In the first part of our high country adventure, we bought a brand new Suzuki for Jesse to wheel and took it straight to some of the country's steepest tracks. It was pushed around, bounced up hills and flooded to the seats, and we're amazed at just how much it could handle. For the next leg of the adventure, we find ourselves deep in the mountains with a mission in mind. I've got word that an iconic pub that lies across the other side of the high country has just reopened. It's a pub that I've always wanted to visit, and so I'm going to make it our mission to get there. Between us and that pub are some of the steepest, gnarliest hill climbs, spectacular high country views, deep alpine river crossings, and of course, some of the most pristine camping you can find anywhere. Jesse's in the Zook, I'm in the N70, we've got a bunch of great mates in the convoy, and we've got an epic couple of days to make it to this cracker of a pub. Can we do it? Let's get on with it and find out. We've got the same rigs, but a couple of new faces in the convoy. Liv, wheeling her mighty D-Max. Belle, all the way from NZ, taking the helm of the Steady 200. Nice! That's the guy! And Costa behind the wheel of the Tough Dog 80. Easy nice. peasy! Loves it! The track ahead is our route to the pub, but it's long and gruelling. We have no idea how long it could take, but there's only one way to find out. And just like that, we find the start of it. Jesse, uh, I'm not intentionally led you astray, but I have found some rocks to try and get over. This could be interesting, mate. Oop. I love driving over rocks, mate. It should be fun in the zoo. Is that a rock in the bull bar? You're barely out in the sidestepy, so if you want to drive it, you have to give it a bit of a dunsa wunsa. It might be the excitement of the trip, but I've absolutely kooked this one and got the rear diff hung up on a rock. Let's hope the rest of this trip is a bit smoother. Jesse's slowly learning the ins and outs of an unlocked Suzuki, but this has got to be the most technical challenge he's come up against so far. And by the look of concentration on his face, he's got it dialed in. I didn't say at the start I was going to do a bit of rock crawling with Clifford. He's never got the gearing for it, but he hasn't got the lockers for it. So it's a bumpy ride, but we're through it in one piece. And uh, hey, Jocko, we don't have the winch, mate. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. Turn it up. Liv knows how to steer Betty well, but this is going to prove a challenge with the weight that vehicle is carrying. No! That's it. Whoa! 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 Oh, go! Oh, nice wow. shooting, Tex! Rock bouncer! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that tiny pop off the rim? Someone's been watching some American rock bouncing. Yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> we started moving, I was like, we're just gonna go with this, my bad. Yeah, guys. We, we kept moving, that's sure. Yeah. Good drive though, good drive. My bad. Well, you're pretty much out of it now. Bounce okay. as many. Gently forward. <laughs> Alright, that was a bit, too, a bit too full send for the boys, so we're just gonna cruise out of this now. There we go. Beautiful. Thanks, That's the pace we love. <laughs> Thank you. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Nice. Yeah, that's Stay it. high. Stay nice and high. Mm. Yes. yes. Yep. Bell's taking this one on nice and slowly and has nailed the throttle control through here. Well done, mate. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, nice and slow, slow, oh, slow, oh. slow, slow. Whoa. That's slow. <laughs> that's up. 
That, I mean, she did it, but no, this rock no, came no. within like yeah. a couple of mil of the rear of that 200. Yeah. Costa's 80 may well be unlocked, but that hasn't stopped him from navigating this with perfection. Bloody beauty, mate. Left hand oh, down a yeah. bit, mate. Left hand down a bit. A bit left. Yeah, that's it. Bloody beauty, mate. Bloody beauty, Costa. Yeah, mate. Hey. With our first few climbs and crossings complete, we push deeper into the forest and further away from any civilization. If you watch the first part of our adventure, you'll know that the little Zook took an absolute beating, was flooded and bounced its way up some gnarly hills. But just as we get to the bottom of another hill, Jesse runs into a major issue. And the look on his face says it all. Just come down a pretty steep hill and at the bottom it felt like the car popped out of gear and took off but it was still in gear so I thought the clutch cable might have snapped but now I can't start the car to test anything so interesting mate Jocko is going to belt the starter motor we're going to try and turn it on and work out what is happening with this gearbox. Magic. Yeah that's me trying to push it in reverse ready listen to that. It's fully on the clutch. Maybe the clutch is cooked. Maybe just let go. Yeah. On most four-wheel drives, when you put your foot on the clutch, it uses hydraulics to help move the clutch in and out easier. But on the Zook, it uses a cable, and you can adjust it next to the gearbox. So we're going to start with something really simple and see if that clutch cable needs a bit of adjustment. It's just a little bit tricky to get to, but we think this should fix it. Way to check is obviously getting the car and start it once Jesse's done, and if the clutch engages fine, we should be good. See what that's like, brother. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's not the clutch. Hang on. <laughs> ready? Starts for me, mate. Did that go in? Yeah. Now, always, if you think there's something wrong with your car, you get your mate to do the test drive. That way, if it all goes wrong, you're safe, and his car is here to drive home. <laughs> this car's so little, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> the clutch seems to be engaging just. But what you can't tell from the cameras is that the clutch smell is so strong, it's as if I'm constantly riding it. Something's not right in there, eh? Nah. Maybe their clutch is like ruined and that just saved it a bit more. With another adjustment made, Jesse's jumped back in to give it another test run, but it's not made a difference. And that's it, clutch is done. If your clutch is gonna slip, it's gonna be in third. So I put it in high range and gave it just a bit of a clutch dump and uh, that's finished it. So, what that means for me is I might be camping at the bottom of this track for a while. I think that's all she wrote, Charlie. Mmm. That's not good. It's a, it's a great spot to do a clutch. That the intersection, there's a workshop, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the bottom of the hill where that river crossing is. Yeah. Um, a repco just opens. So, yeah. So and it's good. not like three hours to tow it anywhere to do a clutch or anything. <laughs> so it's a pretty good spot. Ideal. There's only a few things that are real head scratches for us, and doing a clutch deep in the scrub is one of them. While it's fixable, we are still a long way from our camp spot for the night, and even further from where we're aiming to go. There's no way this is driving under its own steam, so we've decided to put it on the strap and tow it into camp, where we can hopefully get a bit of reception to make a plan. Yeah, look, this is going to be one heck of a tow. <laughs> it's going to be quite interesting, some of these switchbacks. You've got brakes. Uh, and I've got the power. We'll make quite the pair, I reckon. Let's get it done. Whilst the tracks are fairly easy to drive, the switchbacks and steep climbs are really going to test both our skills and the Hilux. We don't get far before we run into some downed trees. And as the saying goes, when it rains, well, it rains. In true Jock and Jesse fashion, it started to rain. The high country is uh, throwing it at us. Anyone who's ever done some wheeling on some of these steep tracks in the high country knows, once they get a bit of rain on them, they can get pretty darn sketchy. It's pretty sketchy having no clutch and the handbrake not being that good. The brakes are the only thing I've got. So normally, if say you're dead towing a car and the engine isn't running, it's a bit more sketchy because you don't have clutch vacuum, but you can always have the car in gear and let the clutch out if all goes bad. But the only thing I've got to stop me right now is my brakes, and they're getting quite hot. So if you're gonna try and keep the strap tight going down this hill so you don't run it over too. So you know it's holding the car, you're holding a little bit of tension on the strap. Yeah, it's pretty red hot, eh? The roof's come disconnected again too. It's good, it's good. 
I keep tightening up as we drive, but it's so bumpy today that all the bolts are falling out again. This thing's dangling around. With the switchbacks navigated, it's onto the steep climbs, and with some moisture on the tracks, I'm going to need all the power I can get in the N70. I might um, maybe jump into Tune 2 and get a bit more power. I think I'm going to need it. So Tune 2 on the AlphaTec module gives me a little bit more power. So my driving round tune is around 230 horsepower. Tune 2 is 250. So it's not something that you want to leave it in all the time, but it's good to know that I've got that extra power when I need it. You disappeared in the dust cloud there for a second, mate. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm back. I got a couple of new rocks on me bonnet, but I'm here. Oh, that was insane. <laughs> that was insane. The rest of the convoy don't have any dramas with that one. Woo. And after tackling a few more climbs and a couple of mud holes later, we roll into camp just as the sun starts to get away from us. Three, two, one. Boy, Hello. Part of my afternoon ritual when I get to camp is blowing the back of Clifford out. Come around here and have a look at this. Look at the dust and all my stuff. This was a black bag once upon a time. So before I touch any of it, I give it a blow out. And yeah, I can't blow my nostrils out, unfortunately. It's full of dust. It may have been a pretty tough day, but that hasn't seemed to deter the crew, who are all still in high spirits. What's more, we've managed to get a hold of a mate who's managed to source a new clutch and is gonna run it out to us in the morning. An absolute lifesaver if you ask me. But for now, it's lights out early because tomorrow is gonna be a big one. Right now, RSEA have got a back to work sale. We can save huge on all your major workwear brands. We're talking up to 15% off brands like Hammer and Field, Wolverine and Kaha. Up to 20% off Heli Hansen, 20 bucks off big brand boots, to 40% off PPE and safety gear, and great deals on 11 aero workwear. Guys, there's 88 RSEA stores Australia-wide, so chances are no matter where you live, there is one local to you. But they've also got the back to work sale online as well, so no matter where you are, from the comfort of your own land room, you can get some brand new workwear to start off 2024 with a bang. But make sure you hurry up, because this offer ends February 11. The night under the stars has provided us with some well needed energy to begin the major repairs on the Zook. Changing a clutch in a workshop is hard enough, but to do it in the bush with just some basic tools, well, it's going to be a mission. This is probably the first for me. I've never done a clutch in a campsite. Yeah, and the plan is with this, uh, we're actually going to jack the vehicle up and put it, Spare tyres under there. Yeah. Because it's quite low and we're big boys. We are big boys. So <laughs> and both of us under there, it's a small vehicle. So yeah. I never thought I'd do that. Yeah. yeah but uh, <laughs> well, we're done with it. you. So it's, yeah. All we right. do silly things. With the Zook on our makeshift hoist, we waste no time hooking in. First step is dropping the box and getting to the clutch. We're going to start by ripping the front tail shaft out. It's going to give us heaps more clearance. And then uh, start unbolting some bell housing bolts, maybe. We're going to try to leave the transfer case in because these are a divorce transfer. So here we go. It's coming. Oh, there we go. It's out. With less effort than we thought, the box is out and immediately you can see the damage that's been done to the clutch. Check this out. That is what remains of the clutch. This is all your friction material. That's what's supposed to touch the flywheel. And you can see there's nothing left on the clutch disc there. Well, on that side, you can see there's heaps on the gearbox side and none on the engine side. And with that, it's out with the old and in with the new. Well, just pulling the clutch alignment tool out, the brand new clutch is in there. That means one thing. Time for Jocko to pass me the gearbox under and we'll lift it back up. I'll come over and give you a hand to lift it up. Yeah. There we go. That's the ticket. Yep. <laughs> That's on already. Yeah. I think. There oh, we go. Oh. Terrific. Oh, that's never happened to me before with a gearbox. That's so nice. That's the easiest gearbox I've ever put in, and we're in a campsite. Yeah. With the car and tires. That's pretty unreal. All right, I'm going to put that. Um, do you want to start on the bottom? Yeah. I'll start on the top. 
The clutch is all in, all back together. The last thing to do is to drive it off the tires and see if Jesse has drive. It means we've done our job properly. Might need a little. <laughs> he got me again, he got me. <laughs> Sounds a bit funny. Did we it know does. he didn't do something up? Yeah, it does sound like it's got a bit of a miss, maybe. Yeah. Children, a lot of them. <laughs> Absolute children. Sound like it's like sort of blown up. Not yet. You get it? <laughs> 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 Moment of truth, we're gonna see if this clutch works. Hopefully I can drive back off these tires. Yeah. Go up in one go. Oh! My head! Ow! <laughs> you right? <laughs> oh! Hey! Bloody beauty, mate. Bloody beauty, mate! Clifford's mobile, yeah. again. Well, to have drive back at Little Clifford feels good. Especially because we still got a long way to go on this trip. And some pretty gnarly tracks to tackle as well. Yeah, good. Well, about... Three and a half hours. We smashed the gearbox out, brand new clutch in. As you just saw, Clifford is driving under his own steam. I'm cheering, as you know, I like to steer. I don't like to get towed, I don't like to be passenger. So Clifford's back in the game, that means I'm back in the game. I'm stoked. We can add changing a clutch in the bush to the list of bush mechanic fixes. With a couple of patient mates packed up, we waste no time in getting back on track. <laughs> Mate, can you believe we just changed a clutch? in a campsite. Yeah, mate, that's pretty crazy. That's definitely a first for me. But I'll tell you what, I reckon Clifford is driving better than ever. I'm keen to go hit some tracks. Thanks for your help, mate. We're not done yet. We will get to this pub. The track that takes us through towards the pub in the mountains is no easy one. And up ahead, things get serious. It's definitely steep. Yeah, it's steep, but there's some traction here by yeah. looks. We have uh, haven't been on the tracks for very long, and no. we found a gnarly hill climb to point First out. First big challenge up. of the day, I'm keen. Yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting, mate. Not only in the Zook, that's going to be wild, yeah. but even the N70, I reckon, yeah. I'll probably have I a workout. I think for every car in the convoy, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. First little hill climb of the trip. Let's see how we go. Let's get the N70 up there first. The jock is absolutely loving this auto. He's never driven an auto. Well, none of his cars have been auto, and you can tell He's really enjoying it. Little wheel lift there. Nice commitment driving through it. So easy, mate. You got cruise control over there. Well, Jock made this first part of the hill look super easy. I'm not sure if Clifford's going to make it that easy. So I've just got Jock to stop here before the next big challenge in case I need a tug. Jesse's got some hours under his belt in Little Clifford, but this might just be its mightiest challenge yet. He's staying high. That's the go. Stay out of those ruts there. Zook swallowing. The little Zerk line is actually quite committing, but just trying to stay out of the ruts and keep the car pretty level. But Look at that, it. little mountain goat. Go little clip. Stay out of those ruts for me. Go Cliff. <laughs> oh, now he might dip out. What a rig. Go Cliff. Too oh. bloody easy. Clifford ate it up. Yeah. Unreal. With Clifford making it to the back of the N70, I'm going to try and do the same thing. Just get far enough so that if Jesse does run into any drama, I can snatch him up. But this climb just keeps getting harder, and even the N70 has its work cut out. Just stiffen out in the back there, mate. Go on, I'll try and push through it. Yeah, nah, she's quite diffed out. If you want, you might have to come right back down before the next step and get hard left. Yeah, that's good, try and drive that a bit. Oh, that's it, that's it, keep staying on it, stay on it. Right, now steer right, bloody beauty, mate. Oh, so close. Oh, it's had it. Oh, it's very close. <laughs> this hill is just too steep for the Hilux to manage. And being the recovery vehicle for the Zook, we're just going to get the winch out to get over this little hump. It doesn't take much to get the Hilux to the flat section of the hill, which would be an excellent point for a Zook recovery if we need it. It's a big angle, quite scary. I'm not feeling too confident, but I'm just gonna drive as far as I can. I wanna even get the strap ready before I even get in the car, because this is getting a bit scary now with the steepness of this. The look of fear on Jesse's face should tell you of the consequences of getting this one wrong.
That's a go. That's a go. It hasn't gone well, and Jesse's in a bit of a situation. Yeah, reverse on the starter, mate. She loves it. But he's certainly not one to give up that easy. Do Fair not spin it when it goes oh, back. There you go. If you just stay pointing this way and try and keep that back tyre out of the hole. They come a bit of right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Climb your little weapon. Yeah. Oh, don't slip go, Clippy. Oh, this is so scary. This is scary. Oh my god. So close, dude. Oh, it is scary. You should see my facial expressions in here. <laughs> it looks sick. Dude, Chris, it rigged. What a bloody drive oh, that was. That was brilliant, Jesse. Well <laughs> done, mate. <laughs> Give you a quick tug and we'll be away. I do some rogue stuff in cars, but normally bigger cars that feel safer on angles like this. So it's really putting the wind up me to Zook in the high country. But I'll tell you what, I'm still smiling. It's good fun. All right, mate, you ready? Yeah, mate, I'm ready. Nice and slow if you can. If you want to dip down, it'll be good, good to just cruise up. Yeah, I nearly binned it then, eh? <laughs> yeah, to give it a pump and if it goes, commit, because I'll either roll or get up. Ah. Bloody beauty, mate. <laughs> I need a bit more, but I got past the sketchy bit. Oh, they're going to be able to see me. Oh, no. Ah, and just like that, the front end of the Hilux gives out. With the Zook attached to the back of it, we're in a spot of trouble now. Well, there was a lot going on just then. I didn't know which way to look, but we heard a big bang. Yeah, clean, crisp, snap. You know what that is? Bloody CV, mate. Right. <laughs> Luckily, we're almost at the top. And with a quick winch, Jesse and I have cleared the hill. That was a doozy of a hill. I thought wild. that was a little sidetrack. I was lifting hills right to the top there. It was yeah. crazy. So maybe um, let's get everyone else up yeah. and then we'll, we'll have a sus. Yeah, it's good, mate. Cool. That was sick, though. That was awesome. <laughs> All right. I guess that means it's my turn. Ooh. Nah, you got this. We'll uh, help you get up. I reckon just give it a few goes and then if we need it, we'll winch. But uh, I reckon you're going to nail it. Liv's been steering that D-Max like a legend, but it does love to lift a wheel. So this one's going to feel pretty wild for it. Oh my god, that's a wheel lift. Oh. Very smooth, beautiful. Oh. Yep, that's it. I'm gonna pick a wheel here. That's it, that's oh. it. See if oh. just slightly come forward, we'll just see what she does. It'll it'll come up in about 300 mil. Oh. Yep, that's beautiful, stay on that. Yep. Stay on that. Edge nice. forward, edge forward. Nice. This, oh. is, this might wreck it, but it might climb it too with the front. Yep. On that. Yep, yeah. yep, 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 beautiful, well oh, done. Yeah. Brilliantly steered, Liv, well done. That's the first section cleared. Woo! Holy moly! <laughs> You're nailing it, mate. Yep, that's you, stay on that, nice and steady. Love it, mate, that is perfect. Stay on that, nice and smooth. Yep, stay on that, stay on that, keep coming. Even Ooh. into the bush, it's tiny bit to get that back. Yeah, steer a bit left. Yep, that's it. Come forward on that. Now right hand down. Yep. Yep. Bit more right, bit more right. That's it. Come forward on that. Come forward on that. Oh my goodness. There is a huge hole beside yep, me. Yep, stay on that and come forward. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. This, this way a bit Let's now. Down a bit. Yep, that's it. Come forward. Yeah. Beautiful. Edge forward. Yep. Edge forward. Perfect. Yeah, it's climbing. It's climbing. Come to right. Uh, left hand down. Left hand down. Yep, that's it. That's it. Yep. Stay on that. 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 The back. To Straight forward. up a bit. If it does slip in, don't freeze it. That's it, perfect. Yeah. Steady, yep, that's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's it. Yeah, a little bit more right. That's it. Beautiful. Straighten up, straighten up. Right, right, right. Straighten up, right, right, right. 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 Other right. That's it. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Jack up, mate. I think we just got well and truly towed up by Liv in the D-Max. That was an unreal drive. That was impressive. Even here, like she had yeah. nice throttle control up there, perfect just drove through the wheel lift. Perfect amount of commitment through the wheel lifts. That, yeah. was, that was that was a real good drive. Beautiful. And for a tourer too, that's yeah. mint. Yeah. A lot of weight in that, but maybe we shouldn't tell her that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did all right, Liv. Yeah, okay. That was okay. Yeah. <laughs> nailed it, mate. That was awesome. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was sick. Bell's up next in the big 200. Good news is, Twin locks, 35s, and wide. So we should be able to get her to keep the tires up on this left bank like Liv did. Yep, yep, that's it. Drive through that, drive through, drive, 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 drive. Beautiful, now left hand down. 
Yep, nice and slow, nice and slow. Stay more left, more left. Yep, that's it. Ah, she slipped in. Oh, all right, now it feels like we're out here. Cool, more left, yep, that's it. Let's try to climb out of that right. That's it, that's it, cool. Now steer right hand down a bit. Yep, a bit more right hand down, climb you big girl. Yeah, cool, that's it, that's it, that's it. Ah, oh. you happy to try a different line? Keep coming, keep coming. Beautiful, on, yep. Tank of a thing. Keep coming to that, keep steering right. Yep, straighten up a little bit. Yep, beautiful, a little bit more. Yep, yep, that's perfect, yep. Now back to the left a little bit, yep. We're just trying to get the back to the climb, yep. Beautiful, keep coming. This way a little bit more, just to get the back up. Beautiful, left, yep. Left. This way a little yeah, bit, that's yep. It. Perfect, you're wedged in now, that's good. Keep going. Keep going, straight keep up going, up no, back up, to the right, back up. to the right, 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 yeah, right, right. Nice and slow, right, nice and slow. Right. Yep. Beautiful. Nice, walking up now, look at that. Yeah. Jesse, we're getting towed up I was going to say, Jocko, I think it's happened again. Yeah. Did two for two. Girls two, boys. Yeah, the girls are nailing us. <laughs> now we're all equal here, Liv, and, uh, but you still beat us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Costa's up next in the Tough Dog 80. And while it might be unlocked, it's got excellent suspension and big tyres, so he's in with a fighting chance. Beautiful, mate. And then hard over to the right now hard to get right that down. That's it. Oh, it wants it, yes. Wants it, wants yes, it, wants it. Yes, wants yes, it. Yep, yes, yep, 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 Let's do it, mate. That's enough. Trust your button to stay on that winch for now. Let it do the work. Yeah, love it, mate. Perfect. Yeah, that's textbook, mate. Well done. Into her. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Perfect. With a bit of right boot, Costa's steamed up the rest of the climb with ease. Well done, mate. Awesome. Something to be said for a yeah. petrol. I like them. After inspecting the front end of the Hilux, it also appears that the damage I've done is worse than we first thought, meaning I'm limping through the rest of this track in two-wheel drive until I can properly diagnose it at camp. But the track doesn't seem to be letting up and the ruts just seem to be getting deeper. Only a few more k's down the road, trouble strikes for a third time and the camera car has come to a halt in a dramatic fashion halfway up the hill. While the camera boys get it out of the way, we continue getting the rest of the convoy up the hill because the day is starting to get away from us. Well, this tracker on there, is super tough. The ruts are massive, everyone's diffing out. It's extra tough on the IFS vehicles just trying to keep them fronts from making scary noises and the wheels flapping together. There we go. He just needs momentum, then he'll get through. Once he's got that rolling momentum, watch him get to the top. Like right now. Go on, Come on. Go on. All the way, all the way. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. Get up it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you see how high the bank is there. It's higher than the car. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe that 30 year old little Zerky. <laughs> this car is so much fun to drive. It's pedal to the metal now, and the convoy are making smooth work of this ride. Holy moly. Cruising up like it's nothing. I felt the whole ground shake yeah. here when she went past. Bell's nailed it and Costa's got it under control. And we try to push on. However, as we continue through a few mud holes, the producer comes over the radio with something we didn't want to hear. I've lost driving back, I think we are. I think the budget's gone. Actually? Yeah, actually. It won't even, uh, won't even go into gear. Go into gear. And would you, did you lose drive? Yeah, just, just through that mud there. Come up here and um, yeah, the clutch is just stuck down. Won't even go into gear. Yeah, they, I think the, the box in this weighs as much as the Zook. Yeah, all together. It um, could be... Um, do you mind if we just jump in and have a play? So yeah. Can... Wouldn't be master or booster, uh, master or slave or anything? Yeah, maybe we're going to have a look at the slave. Yeah. It's very sticky. But I can smell clutch. I can smell heaps of clutch, eh? Yeah. Like it stinks. Mm. That in first gear? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to let the clutch out. 
Now, Jesse and I like to try and keep things pretty positive. And there's rarely, if ever, been a sticky situation we've not managed to get out of. There's no clutch left. I think we're in a bit of trouble, mate. I... Yeah, this is probably the worst place a patrol clutch could ever go, in the middle of a super tough track in the high country. I, like, I've been doing this nearly 10 years. I've never had one clutch go on a trip, let alone, yeah, let alone two. two. It's warm. Um, can we, can we have, can we have a chat yeah, about this? Yeah, we want to have a chat about this, dude. Oh. This is a lot serious than the Zook. Uh, it's probably as bad as I've seen it, to be honest. Like, I mean, changing a Zook gearbox in a campsites like that. Achievable. That gearbox weighs as much as a Hilux transfer. Mm. This gearbox probably weighs as much as the Zook. Um, and I think the issue we're going to have is like, we're limping cars already. Like, you're in two wheel drive. Yeah, I'm in two wheel drive. The Zook's not going to tow it. It's a and dead, we're probably going to break more dead stuff, car. dead car, yeah. I'm out of ideas. I don't say that lightly, but yeah. I'm out of ideas. Well, how about we see if we can get some reception maybe at the top of the hill? Yeah. Maybe call the boys up. Call the boys. See, see, they see if they can out. actually get out yeah. here. Get everything out. Yeah, get Lock everything out. We'll get some reception. I'll yeah. start unpacking if you want to give, give the a boys call. a call. Yeah. We're already a day in and have only made it five kilometres. This track has been relentless. It's slow, gruelling, and there's still so many k's to go. Even if we attempt to tow this out, it could take days and days or even weeks at this pace if it's even possible at all. So a heavy call has to be made. We're gonna to have to abandon the camera car. It's a first for us, and hopefully a last. But where we are is the absolute middle of nowhere. Hours and hours from even a remote mountain town with no reception and a wild track still to tackle. And at the risk of damaging more vehicles in the convoy, pushing on and calling in the cavalry seems like the best option. We're really putting in the work here. It's winch after winch, rut after rut, and ever so slowly, we're making our way through. Got broken, we're winching. It's turning into a night drive. New camera car. New camera car, what do you reckon, mate? A little bit bumpy in here? It's all, yeah. It's, it's a tight fit. It's a tight fit. A little bit dusty, but you get the real driving. Oh, hold on. Oh, you get the real driving experience, mate. Yeah. With the day nearly gone, we make the call to push until we find anywhere we can lay a bit of canvas out. But it seems that we've opened Pandora's box on this adventure, and up ahead, Liv's run into some trouble. Sit rep, this is probably the most Jock and Jesse adventure we've ever Jock and Jesse. The trouble is, it's our first one with mates too. Yeah, with <laughs> mates, we've done. it's just us two, yeah. but this trip we've done, there's two cars that have done a clutch. Yep. One we fixed, the other one's back one's down there. One's abandoned, yeah. That yep. car down there is struggling in four wheel drive. Mine You're is in two wheel drive. drive. And then, uh, yeah, we've the, deleted a rooftop a, a tent. Delete rooftop tent. Um, yeah, this is hectic. I've never had this many dramas on the trip. I'd expect it, to say the least. <laughs> I thought we were on a home run to camp and it just goes to show when you think you're out of the out of the woods uh the woods find you and, <laughs> and you hit a tree hey Liv yeah Liv, oh she can still hear I'm just <laughs> I don't know how she couldn't hear the tent ripping off the roof <laughs> three two one go. Oh. Just like that, with all that could go wrong going wrong, day has turned in tonight and we are still high up along the ridge of this mountain track. Well, it's turned in tonight. Hey, Jesse, you got a copy, mate? Yeah, got a copy, Jocko. In true us fashion, mate, this uh, went from zero to 100 real quick. We're limping some cars into camp. Yeah, exactly, mate. It's uh, definitely true Jesse and Jock fashion. Things are broken all day. We're, we're battling it now, we're driving at night, but we're doing something we love, that's the main thing. I'm still smiling. This Clifford is a ton of fun to drive. Roger that, mate. Uh, this is where we belong. And is that Clifford squealing in the background? <laughs> yeah, Clifford squealing. We've still got drivers appearing. Oh, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, mate. Not too far up the road is a small grassy opening, which should do the job for a campsite. Just pulled into camp after a massive day. Started with doing a clutch in this thing. We had car dramas everywhere. And I'll tell you what, we got into camp in the dark, which is very Jock and Jesse fashion, but this is the stuff I live for, mate. The harder the trip is, the more I'm smiling. This is awesome. You gotta think, you gotta use your brain, problem solve. Pretty keen to roll a bit of canvas out tonight though, but uh, how good's this? 
Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mate. Cheers. Mate, what a day. We have been in some sticky <laughs> situations before, but oh. today is, uh, it's yeah. up there. Holy tomorrow. I can't even explain the things or the things that have happened today. There is one thing. Mm. You hungry? You guys hungry? Bloody oath, yeah, you worked me hard today. I figured, you know, you guys have worked very hard. You've earned a cold beer and I uh, thought I'd do a little bit of a cook up. I'm happy to help you need an apprentice. Yeah, I do need an yeah, apprentice. Well, I, I I'm think an apprentice though, so what's that no, make it? You're a better driver than Sean, so you probably can be a better cook. You're watching I that, reckon? Sean? Yeah. yeah, all right, well, let's finish this beer and we'll, we'll have a cook up, eh? Sounds good. Well, mate. This is pretty much what we're working with. Now, as I mentioned, I am not Sean, mm. but uh, I'm gonna give it a crack. And we're doing burgers. We're doing uh, traditional burgers. Looks like it's gonna be good. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold you up for one second though. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna do this, do you reckon we should do it right? You're absolutely right, yeah. mate. Let's get dressed properly. Sounds good. <laughs> That's better, mate. <laughs> Much better, what do you reckon? <laughs> He lost it. Well, we couldn't get the actual big hats mm. because uh, Sean has one of them. You've got to work your way up to them. Yeah, this we're is only the apprentice a... getter. <laughs> Apprentices. <laughs> but, mate, super simple. All I need you to do is chop up some tomatoes. Is yeah. this from your mum's kitchen this night? No, that's from that Snatch Cutlery set. It's pretty good, eh? It's even got chopping boards. Very nice. Whilst you're doing that, yeah, I'm going to hook into the burger sauce. Now, my brother's given me strict instructions on what to do. So this is uh, Japanese mayonnaise, Kewpie. Next up, tomato sauce. And you know, I was actually thinking of a name for this, mate. Because we're cooking on the back of a ute tub. <laughs> He's lost it. He's lost it. Because we're cooking on the back of a, <laughs> of a ute tub, mate. I thought about what about tub to tummy? Tub to, to tummy. tummy. Perfect. Yummy, yummy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really coming out the way I wanted, but no. there we go. It's a bit cold down here in Victoria. Yeah, it for is, the mate. It is. I probably should have taken all the lids off all this stuff. There's plastic in there now. We're apprentices. That's all right. We're learning as we're we learning. go. We're if Sean was here, he'd be telling us what to do. Mm. Yes, chef. No, chef. Three bags full, chef. <laughs> and you just want these sliced up as well. Yeah, do you want to peel them first or just slice them? Yeah, so you just, yeah peel them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> did, you really, did you just peel that one go? It's kind of like an egg. You, yeah. know, you know, would have one mate that worked at Mac because it could crack an egg real easy. Yeah, Sean uh, can do that I worked at the onion shop, so I can do it pretty easy. Like yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never seen that before. <laughs> I usually just start crying when I cut them. The good news is, we changed your clutch today and we haven't washed our hands since. So there's gonna be some extra flavor in there also. Yeah, essence of clutch burgers. With the meat, all we need to do is roll them into little balls. Yeah. That's pretty big, but big boy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, mate, we nearly lost our plate of balls. Yeah, we did. We might be apprentices much longer if our balls no. drop. Nope. We're ready to go. That's ready to go over to the fire. Yeah. I wanna go smash them. Sounds good. Let's go. So mate, all we do is we chuck them on like this, just yeah. give them a bit of space, and you just... And you want to whack a bit of salt and pepper on top. Just chuck some cheese on there, mate. All right, mate, so we've got the buns. Now, I'm going to build a burger here. Mm. I've run out of plates, but we're you just going to... Lay them out an hour, I reckon. Yep, so... Lay all the bases out. And that's wow. it. That's it. That's all you need. So just Should jump in, grab one, one here, I'll get out of your weight. Yeah, all right, hopefully they taste all right. All right. We'll find out. First bite together. Let's go. That's bloody good, ma'am. Mm. You did really well. Thanks. If my brother's watching, I reckon he'll be happy with that. I've done him proud. With that. If Sean's watching, hopefully we've done him proud. Mm. The only thing that'll make this better, cold beer, fire. We're on the fire. Let's, Let's go. go. The feed for the crew is a nice little treat to take our mind off the fact that we're still a fair way off our objective of getting to that pub. But if there's one thing we won't do, it's give up. You can win all of this and travel off-road in style. This is Marta's Cows for Cancer biggest ever lottery. Now this total prize package is worth over $350,000 and it could be yours. Check out this essential caravan. It's built to go anywhere in absolute class and style. Inside you've got an ensuite, there's bunk beds, there's a queen size bed, kitchenette. It's got a full 12 volt system, solar panels on the roof. This thing is made to go just about anywhere you dream to. And have a go with the tow vehicle. This is a brand new Land Rover Defender. Now it's got heaps of grunt for towing, it's got air suspension and inside it's got all the comfort to take you anywhere you dare to go. So do yourself a favour, for only 30 bucks you can grab a ticket, head straight to carsforcancer.com.au, get in quick because entries do close on March 13. Heavy fog this morning sets the tone for what has been a challenging adventure so far. 
With two failed clutches, my Hilux in two-wheel drive and the rest of the convoy starting to fill some gremlins, the mission today is simple. Get out and get to this pub. So today, we've made the decision to stay in bed until the sun comes up. It's because it's a little cold outside. Do you? Another spectacular morning in the high country. The fog has rolled in and we're actually quite high up at this campsite. I think we're at about 1600 meters or so. It's a long way and you can really feel it. Very chilly getting out of the swag, but for now, making a nice coffee before we hook into changing a CV on the N70. Clifford so far is going sweet with the new clutch. The 200's having a few problems with the transfer case, but it's still chugging along. Liv's vehicle went into lightweight tourer mode, but uh, with some ratchet straps, we'll be able to keep that 10 on. The 80's sweet. The 80's just chug along at the back, just being all quiet, petrol life, just making her way. Not complaining, as 80's do. But for now, I'm gonna get this coffee into me. Then I'm gonna stare at the front end of my car and hopefully the CV will fix itself. Mate, you've done a number on that, come in three pieces. Blown to smithereens, yeah. yeah. It's, um, that's not ideal, but we've got a spare here, so yeah. just chuck it straight in, I guess, but not much left of that, eh? No, no, not at all. <laughs> I had a sneaking suspicion that the CV was only a passenger in what was a major issue yesterday, and it turns out my fears are correct. You can see here something is not right, and the CV is just not sitting right. Well, Jesse, that's a little bit strange, mate. For whatever reason, these aren't going to work. It just, no. as you saw there, mate, it was yeah. just binding, it's binding up. Binding up, as and the wheel's not going to spin. <sighs> so I think, mate, I'm just going to have to stick in two-wheel drive. It's not yeah. ideal. With the Hilux back together, albeit in two-wheel drive, it's time to get packed up and hit the road because I have a feeling today's going to be a mission. Some good news: we've managed to get a hold of a couple of good mates of Jesse's who live and breathe high country recoveries. And we're going to go head down and meet them to see if we can get the camera car out of here. So without further ado, we push on. Well, we're cracking on another day in the beautiful high country. We're edging ever closer to that elusive beer at Woods Point. This is definitely up there in one of the stickiest situations we've been in, but we're cracking on. How are you going in the Zook? You've got a cameraman next to you, I take it. Yeah, I've got a passenger now, evening out the load in the Zook. It's, uh, he's loving it, and I'll tell you what, this is one trip I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. Definitely, mate, definitely. I got a cameraman in here with me. We are cracking on, and that Zook, it's loaded up with all the camera gear. Maybe the new camera car should be Clifford. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were just talking about. Actually, we reckon the Zook could make a good little camera car. Love it, mate, love it. Well, glad to hear you're all in high spirits because we've got a little bit more to go, but I told you we're getting to Woods Point, and come hell or high water, I will buy you all a beer when we get there. These ruts are about 200 mil deep, so I've just gone across and skidded all the loose dirt off because Jock's four-wheel drive is playing up, make it as easy as we can. Beauty! The beauty of the Zook being so little, they're just in a rut on an angle. Cruiser. Oh, she's a skin track. This is gonna do some. Damage. Oh. The crew has wasted no time in getting through this first part of the exit out of here, and with all the rigs on their last legs, I don't blame them. Great angle, great angle, great angle. Don't hit jock, don't hit jock. Woo oh, the camera crew put so much junk in the back of my car, yeah, I've got to hit some of the run up, and I'm not quite used to it. I'm just stiffed out. Bigger tyres or lockers, I reckon I have this, but Jack's gonna give me a little toe. These are the moments where you have to work as one, and we're doing just that. Bit by bit, we're inching closer and closer to the end. But our rotten luck continues, and Bella's just come over the radio with an issue in the big steady rig. Well, we're inching closer to the pub with every metre travelled, but uh, the vehicles are fighting us a bit. Uh, the 200, we think, may have a rear wheel bearing on its last legs. They're pressed in. Yeah, mate, that back right-hand wheel bearing's not too happy. You can see, see the caliper's taking up the slack at the moment, so the mm. wheels are going to fall off as long as that doesn't snap. So it's good to limp into town, Yeah. But... Well, the best part is we can do absolutely nothing about it, but uh, we are ever so close. And I reckon once you have a beer at the pub, this won't actually matter anymore um, because we'll be at the pub. The last one standing, Cozzy. Last one standing. Hey, listen, the 80 can flat-toe that thing, hopefully. Yeah. 
I think not towing the camera car out of here was the right call, judging by just how difficult it's been to get up these challenges. And they are not letting up. Oh my God. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh God, there it is. Holy moly. There we go, and she's up. She's real good on the throttle, eh? She's real good like, on the throttle. Nose when to back off. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Yeah. <laughs> Soaking up the bump for that suspension. Oh, that was so good. Oh, uh, our heart rate, seriously. <laughs> right on cue, we reach what looks to be open grasslands, and coming from the other direction are the boys we've called in for the camera car recovery, and they've bought the heavy machinery. Well, Jesse, mate, when we said call on the cavalry, <laughs> yeah, we really did. I think the Zook might have done it, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I thought we might as well give these boys a bit the of a job to do. Best thing, just a yeah. little bit bigger, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so the boys are going to head in and mm. uh, pull the camera car out, I think. Lads, you got your work cut out for you. Cause, uh, Maybe a bit of cutting to get to it, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon so, I reckon so. But um, thanks so much for coming out and uh, yeah. pulling the camera car. Saves us be... a couple of days work, I reckon. Yeah, there'll be a cold beer waiting for you at the pub, so appreciate yeah. it. Cheers, Cheers boys. Good luck. Good on ya. The boys at Admiral Towing are absolute legends and have a big 24 hours ahead of them. For us, this marks the end of a wild trip. We are nearly there. There's about 30 k's to go in between us and the pub. We should be on the home stretch now. We're running low on fuel, running low on pretty much everything, to be honest. A couple more switchbacks, and then a couple of ice cold beers at the Woods Point Commercial Hotel, and Jesse Shout. What do you reckon? Jesse, have you got deep pockets? We've got a few beers to shout, mate. Mate, I spent all my money on a new clutch. I don't know how you're expecting <laughs> to shout the beers, but I'll uh, see what's in the Astro Clipper, see what I can wrestle up. Oh well, isn't that a sight for sore eyes? There it is, the Woods Point Pub. It's an amazing feeling to finally have completed our mission and just as we arrive, we get word from the tow truck boys that they've reached the camera car and reckon this could be one of the biggest recoveries yet. But they're up to the task in getting stuck in. On your boys. Well, cheers everyone. Cheers oh, everyone. it's going to taste so good. What a trip. Oh. Finally, so good. finally. How crazy was, was that? <laughs> yeah. Was that? What an adventure. Think about what we went through just to get here and have a cold beer in Woods Point. We did two clutches. One we changed the camp, the yeah. other one was on a vehicle that we had to we had leave to on the track. We had to on call the, the cavalry to come yeah. and get it. Then, uh, yeah, what else did we do? I did some CVs. Yeah. I mean, two-wheel drive, did two-wheel drive the rest of the tip. You, you she deleted. left her camp on the track. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but the D-Max did well apart from that. Yeah. Loves it. It loves it. The 200 just made it here. Yeah. Uh, you know, just. Yeah. Costa, I think it was just cruising the whole time. Yeah, the Addy had, no had no problems. The Addy had no problems. This is slow and steady from beyond. Yeah. <laughs> but how epic. What a proper adventure. I mm. think, mate, that was probably one of the most intense trips we've we've yeah. ever done. I reckon that's probably our most epic adventure together so far. And I'll tell you what, the crew we have with us is yeah. even better. Made, it, made an awesome trip. Outstanding. Doesn't get much better than this. And folks, if you're planning to get down to the high country, check out this spectacular Part of the world, put it on your list and put Woods Point Commercial Hotel. Come down and see this town is beautiful. It's awesome. And enjoy your trip because I know we have. Yeah. Cheers one more time. Cheers again. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time on Four Drive 24-7. <laughs>